welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure look your confidence causes conflict okay like it ain't even nothing that you did though the funny thing is you just be being you like you just be so natural with it like you just be so organic with, with the ways in which you'll be moving but your confidence causes conflict it's very conflicting it triggers a lot of people unhealed wounds like it triggers triggers a lot of uh emotions in people like just by being you just by being confident just by the way that you walk just by the way that you talk like especially my people who likes to move solo dolo like when people see you out they don't like that they they want to find a reason to like mess with you and you don't even have to be out alone but people can feel your confidence radiating off of you they can feel your confidence radiating off of you not only do, is the confidence radiate radiating off of you your good energy your light is shining very bright it's radiating off of you and it causes conflict for a lot of people because you're polar opposite to them so when you come with your good energy and they come with a negativity like it just it repels it repels them and it don't make them feel good and they want to figure out like what makes you so special like who are you why are you so radiant like why are you glowing the way that you're glowing like why are you so attractive? Why are you attracting people in the ways in which you are attracting people? Like, people don't like that. So they wanna, they wanna like, they because they're triggered, now they wanna like trigger you. They wanna say little slick stuff. They might like, they wanna, they wanna say something to bring you down to their level. They wanna say something to um, make you feel the ways in which they feel. But that's the way that they feel on the inside. You don't feel that way on the inside. So this is why a lot of times when people come with that drama or people come trying to start stuff or people come like trying to be in competition, you've grown to the point where a lot of times you can just ignore that. Like you can just ignore that. You can just move on with your life. Like you ain't got to, you recognize everything don't need a response. Like it ain't going to do nothing but get you all hyped up and make you not feel good. So you just, you just let them people have that. You let them have that because people be out here really beefing with themselves. They really do. They really be out here having problems with their self. So of course they're going to have a problem with you. This is why you shouldn't take things personal. When people say things, when people act in the ways in which they act, when people want to um, throw a little slick uh stuff and say it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter because that's a reflection of what's going on in the inside and a lot of these people they're hurt they're hurt a lot of people need to heal a lot of people need to work on themselves a lot of people need to be with themselves it has nothing to do with you but when you walk in when you're around and you're confident and you not paying people no mind, and people ain't got confidence to do the type of things that you do, it's going to come with some negativity. It really is. Like, people are going to say stuff and show them love. Anyway, that bothers them even more. When you don't feed into their negativity, oh, that bothers them even more. It's like, what do they want? You don't show them nothing. They turn up. You turn up with them. Oh, they really turn up. So it's like, no, you have to choose your battles. And you realize that them people, <laughs> they're not worth even, like, getting a look at. Like, you're not even giving people eye contact because you don't need that. You don't need that energy. You don't need that energy transfer. You don't need them to think that they're even for a second important. Your confidence causes conflict. And you wasn't always this way. Like you're growing, stepping more into your confidence every single day. But because you're confident 
in the ways in which you move, in the things in which you do, and you're confident enough to put yourself out there, or you're confident enough to go certain places, or you're confident enough to do certain things, and people aren't conf confident enough to do that, they don't like it. They're either inspired or they can't stand it. You got some people out here who cannot stand how confident you are. They can tell by the way that you are comfortable being like comfortable. Like they can tell in the ways in which you're comfortable in the jogging suit. They can tell in the ways in which you're comfortable in some basketball shorts. Like they can tell in the ways in which you're comfortable in your skin. You're comfortable in your body. Like they can tell by the ways in which you're comfortable with your hair. Like they can tell by the ways in which you're comfortable with yourself. They can tell. They can just tell. They can feel it. Your energy is felt. It's very strong. Your confidence is very noticeable. It's very noticeable. You don't need people to give you praise and validations. You don't need... Like you can go somewhere and you don't need to just go and try to talk to any everybody and make friends. Like you don't... You don't need people in that way. So when they see you especially comfortable with yourself confident with being alone, confident in doing what it is that you're doing, that thing that you do, they don't like that. Nope. Because for a lot of them, they've never seen it be done. Like, or they, you're a part of the uh, small percentage of people who do it, who's confident enough to do it. And they may want to do it too. They may want to, but because they don't have the confidence that you have, they're defeated. They talk themselves, their selves out of it. They're scared. They see that you're not scared. But the funny thing is, you might be scared, but you do it scared and all. Like, that's how confident you are. You're confident in knowing that it's either going to work or it's not. It's either going to be a blessing or a lesson. Like, it's, like it's, it, it's going to be what it's going to be. And it's nothing bad. It don't have to be a bad thing. But your confidence, it really turns a lot of people off. This is why you have a lot of people turning their nose up at you, a lot of stares. Like, because why are you so confident? Like I said, you don't even have to be, oh, don't let you get cute, get dressed, get a fresh cut, like, get a fresh retwist. Like, oh, don't let you be like that. Because they already don't like your confidence when you're comfortable. They don't like it when you're comfortable. You're confident with who you are internally. You're confident with what you have to give. And that scares a lot of people. Like, it turns a lot of people off. It's a reflection. It, it makes them look in the mirror and question, what are they doing? Why are they not confident? How come they don't have the confidence? It's really triggering. Your confidence triggers a lot of people. It triggers a lot of people. Like I said, a lot of people need to heal. A lot of people don't even know they need to heal. A lot of people don't even know healing is a thing. Okay? And it's not something you just do and be done. Like, it's a lot of stuff that we need to heal from. And you may need to heal from something that happened a week ago. But people see you, they see you healing too. Like they see you stepping out of the old you. They see you doing things differently. Oh, that's very triggering. How are you so confident to quit that? How are you so confident to not be who you was 10 years ago? Who are you? What makes you so confident? It's your, your confidence. <laughs> your confidence. That's what makes you so confident. Because you got it like that. Because you didn't been there and done that. Because you don't want that no more. Because you want better. Because you want different. Because you realize that you can experience whatever it is that you want to experience. You can do whatever it is that you want to do. And a lot of people don't believe that for themselves. They don't believe that they can do what they want to do. They don't believe that they can be who they want to be. They don't believe that they can go where they want to go. And because they see you doing that and they see you confident in doing what you're doing. They don't like that. Mm -mm. They don't like that. It's very triggering. It exposes their insecurities. 
it exposes the fact that they can do it too. But for whatever reason, they're not confident enough. So if this video resonate, if this video hit different, let me know how so in the comment section below. If you are new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. Thank you to all of the members on the channel. I see y'all. I appreciate y'all. That's all I have for this video. Stay spiritually you. Stay spiritually in tune. And I see y'all on the next one. Peace.